Are we ready for this mini flow practice? Just enough to connect with the space, to open our hearts, still our minds, and bring some vibrancy into our lives. If so, unravel your mat, gather any equipment that you like to use, and let's come and stand at the front of the mat for standing meditation. Feet the width of the mat, toes slightly turned in, just slightly, and heels out. Press into the feet and lift the inner arches. Press into the four wheels of each foot. Feel the legs become firm. Move the buttocks and the sacrum towards the heels. And then with your hands, lift the pubic bone and the belly button in and up. Feel this front spine, we call it, from the pubic bone to here, the front spine getting longer and then extend the arms, closing the eyes. With each inhale, paint more and more length to the front spine and lift and blossom the chest open to the sky. With each exhale, relax the face, relax the shoulders. And now lifting the hands and pressing the palms together and offering this practice to the creative divine pulse. Inhale. Oh. And releasing the hands. The eyelids opening. And we place the hands on the hips. Make sure our feet are firm. Coming forward. And holding onto the upper arms. Hanging Uttanasana. Drop the head right down. With each exhale, press into the feet. And with each inhale, grip the leg muscles up, the femur bones coming into the hip sockets. And now placing the hands on the mat and either stepping or jumping to Adho Mukha Shansan, Downward Dog. Lift your heels so the feet are vertical. And now that the heels are lifted as high as possible, lift your sit bones as high as possible. Feel the triangular shape that we're making and lift the tip of that triangle up to the sky over and over again. And three, and two, and one. And now walking forward, feet again, the width of the mat and changing the cross of the arms from the last hanging with Tanasan, dropping the head down. Relax the neck and head completely. Relax the face. Now re-grip the legs and re-press down into the heels. Feel that density, that feeling of penetrating the pose more deeply coming. And two. And one. Place the hands on the mat, spread the palms, spread the fingers, and jump or step back to Adho Mukha Shvanasan. Re-lift the heels and now bend the knees. And then with an exhale, straighten the legs and push the front thighs back. Keep the arms stretched. And again, bend the knees, deepen. And with an exhale, straighten and push the front thighs back. Restretch the arms. One more time, bending the knees. And with an exhale, straighten, push the front thighs back. Stretch the arms. And two. And one, bending the knees and coming down onto the mat. And being in Vajrasana. Parvatasan Vajrasana. Arms in front. Interlock the fingers. Turn the palms out and lift the arms up nice and high. Now press the front thighs down so that you can lift up even more. And two. And one. Coming down halfway. Changing the interlock. And back up. Parvatasan Vajrasana. Press the front thighs down. Relift. And two. Reaching, and one, coming down, releasing, shoulder openers, bringing the forehead to the floor, bringing the hands behind, crossing the thumbs together, and lift the arms up as high as you can, stretching, reaching for the sky, and two, and one, come down halfway, change the cross of the thumbs, re-stretch the arms, roll the shoulders back. Lift the arms up higher. Reach for the sky. And now relax the face completely. Don't let the tension of opening the upper back and shoulders come into the jaw and throat. 
and two, and one. Exhale, releasing, coming down, rolling back up, coming onto our hands and knees, rounding and arching the spine. Inhale, round, really lift the belly button up, and exhale, arch. And again, inhale, round, and exhale, arch. Last time, inhale, round, lift the belly button up, and exhale, arch. And now coming to Adho Mukha Svanasana. Re-spread the fingers apart. And exhale, pushing ourselves back from the hands and then straightening the legs, still keeping the heels lifted, lifting the buttocks up higher and higher. And three, and two, and one. Bring the feet closer towards each other now. We're going to press the left foot to the floor and turn the foot slightly open to the left. And step the right leg forward. Simplify Pashtokanasana. Bend that front knee, and then exhale, straight and turn the hips to the right. And again, bend the front knee, keep the back heel firm, and straighten. One more time, bend that front knee, and with an exhale, straighten, draw the femur bone into the hip socket. And then looking up, we're going to jump and change sides. Left leg forward, right leg back. Turn the hips, bend the front leg. And with an exhale, straighten. And again, bend that front leg, keep the back heel firm. And with an exhale, straighten, keep the hips turning to the front. And one more time, bend that front leg. And with an exhale, straighten, draw the femurs into the hip sockets, drop the head down. And three, and two. And one, stepping back to downward dog. Respread the fingers widely. Lift the heels up. The feet really want to be vertical. Now go to the line underneath your buttocks. And lift that up to the sky. Good. Now find your shoulder blades and pump them forward. Feel the armpit opening. Feel the ribs opening. Make new space there. That's it. Breathe that space. And three. And two. And one. Now we're going to walk forward. Feet the width of the mat. Parangushasan. First two fingers of each hand between the big toe and index toe. Inhale, look up. Grip the kneecaps and thighs up. Inner groins rolling back. And exhale, pulling ourselves down, releasing the neck, the head, and the brain. Keep the feet firmly pressing down so that we can better grip the muscles up the legs and feel the femurs coming into those hip sockets. And then inhale, looking up, hands to the hips, bend to the knees, elbows back, and coming back up. And releasing into Tadasa. Neutralize, shoulders back, chest lifting. All right, turning to face the long edge of the mat now, Uthita Trikonasan. So jumping or stepping, wide stance, turning to the right. Inhale, lift and open the chest. Exhale, reaching and coming down. Keep lifting the inner arch of the back foot and pushing into the outside edge of the foot. Squeeze the back inner knee. Now find your belly buttons and with the exhale, twist from the belly button to the sky. And three, and two, and one. Inhaling up, and to the left hand side. Prepare, lengthen the front spine, open the chest. Exhale, reach, and coming down. Travel to the back foot, lift the inner arch of the back foot, and push firmly into the outside edge of that foot. Grip the front leg. Now find the bone button. And with the exhale, twist from the belly button. And one. Inhaling up. And turn the feet to face forward. Virabhanasana two into Pashvakonasana. Turn the right foot open and widen the stance a little bit. Inhale. Exhale into square. Inhale. Exhale, reach. Coming down on the inside edge of the foot, fingertips to the floor, right arm up. And now bend this top arm in. And exhale, extend. And 
again, bend the top arm in, elbow in, not out. And with an exhale, extend. One more time, bend this top arm in, and extend, push into the outside edge of that back foot, and find the belly button, and twist, and three, and two, and one. Bend the arm back in, up through the other grass, and up two, back up, and the other side. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, make a square. Inhale, and exhale, reach, finding the floor. Make sure the back foot is firm and stable. Now, bending this top arm in, and extend. And coming in, and extend. And one more time, coming in, and extend. Push into the outside of that back foot. Squeeze the back of the knee and find the belly button and twist. And three. And two. And one. Arm back in. Through the other last one. Two. Back up. Turn the feet in. And jump the feet together. Tadasana. Back to the short edge of the mat. Turning the heels out, the toes slightly in. Hands on the hips, elbows back. Exhaling forward, hanging with Tadasa. Press into your feet. Grip the kneecaps and thighs up. Grip the inner knees to the inner groins up. And now place the hands on the mat, Adam Kashtarasan, spread those fingers and stepping or jumping back. Relift our heels. Find the line underneath the buttocks again and lift it to the sky. And pump the shoulder blades in. Now relax the neck and head. And three. And two. And what a beautiful coming back down. Knees sitting on the heels, shoulder openers. This time we're interlocking the fingers. And lifting the arms up as high as we can. And now we're turning the hands up to the sky. Inverting the hands, pushing the palms of the hands up to the sky. And two. And one. Coming down halfway, changing the interlock. And re-lifting. Turning the hands, pushing the palms up to the sky. And two. And one. Exhale, coming down and rolling back up. Upa Vishka Konasana. So, you can always take some height underneath the buttocks and hips. Just press pause on me, get a blanket or a bolster and sit higher if you're very tight in the groins. Make sure the kneecaps are facing the sky. None of this rolling out of the legs. Heels firm, push through the balls of the feet, turning to the right, and reaching with the left hand to the outside edge of that foot, twisting. Keep twisting for now, keep twisting, turning, twisting, turning, twisting, turning, and now reach with the right hand to the inside edge of the foot, and coming forward. Keep pulling yourselves forward, heels firm, Front thighs pressing down. And two. And one. Coming back up. Check that your legs still have that integrity. Going to the left. And reaching with the right hand to the outside edge of the left foot. And twisting and turning with each exhale. And three, keep using the exhale to twist. And two, and one. Now reaching with the other hand to the inside edge of the foot. And coming forward down the length of that leg. Don't forget your other leg. Keep both heels equally firm, both front thighs pressing down. So really extend your attention everywhere. And two. And one. 
and bring back up and releasing. Bringing the feet in, Balakonasana. Again, taking height if it's needed. Make sure that the heels come in as close as possible to the groin. Exhaling forward. The exhale melting the groins. And the inhale lifting the pelvic floor and lifting the pubic bone. So closing the eyes if you need to really be with the different actions of the breath. The inhale lifting the pelvic floor and the pubic bone. The exhale releasing the groin. And lying down on our mats, holding onto the sides of the mats with our hands and rolling the legs over, finding the floor behind us. Now reaching with our hands for our feet, chin close to the throat, lengthening the back of the neck. Feeling the upper back open more. And three. And two. And one. Hands back to the sides of the mat. And unrolling. And bend the knees as you unroll. And bring the feet to the floor. Ready for our second one. Press into the hands. Lift up. And rolling over. Feet to the floor behind us. And then reaching with the hands for the feet. Soft, smooth, long breath cycles. We're clearing space here in the upper back and the neck. And three. And two. And one. Bring the hands back to the mat. And unrolling, bending the knees, feet to the floor. Take a breath here, relax the face from any build up of tension. We've got one last halasana roll. Holding onto the sides of the mat and rolling over. And when you feel stable, reach with your hands for the feet. Increase the length of the inhale, fill the back lungs, fill the upper back with that breath. And then releasing the hands, holding the mat, unrolling down, bending the knees, and feet to the floor. Almost finished, little Ardha Sutta Parinjasana 1. So bring the right foot up, and lifting ourselves up, holding onto the foot, extending that leg as straight as possible, and seeing if you could lie back down on the mat as well. Traveling with the breath, so that through the breath, you don't get as close to the sensation of needing to, needing to move away from the pain. You can maintain that kind of stoically. That's it, two, and one. And releasing, changing legs, lifting up, holding the foot, extending as best as possible. Coming down. And staying present in the pose through the breath. Count the inhale, count the exhale. Try not to react to the immediacy of, oh my gosh, it's painful, I want out. That's it, stay with it. And three, and two, and one. And releasing one more time on each side. Lifting up, holding the foot. And extend, to be able to go a little bit more on this side now. That's it, breathe. See if you can feel the femur bone coming into the hip socket. As you draw the leg closer and closer and closer. And now lift the head up and kiss the knee. And two. And one. Releasing. Last time, last side. 
Lifting up, holding the foot, extending. Coming down. Pull, see if you can feel the head of the femur bone coming into the hip socket. Draw the leg closer, breathe. And now lifting up and finding our knee, our shin. And three. And two. And one. Coming back up. And releasing. Okay, now we're turning around to utilize the long edge of the mat with our hands and our arms, lining our shoulders up for some active Jakara Parivartanasanas. Feet off the mat, we'll bring the knees to the left first and twisting to the right. So it'll look like this. And then we'll change sides. Okay, here we go, preparing. Inhale. And exhale, knees to the left, turn and twist to the right. And back up. Changing sides. Inhale. Knees to the right, twist to the left. And back up. Changing sides. Knees to the left, twist to the right. And back up. And changing sides. Knees to the right, twist to the left. And back up. Last time, each side, knees to the left, twist to the right. And back up. And last time, last side, knees to the right, twist to the left. And back up. And releasing, swiveling back so that we're on our mats properly, so to speak. And last, V para Supta Lining the inner feet up. Lining the inner knees up. Shoulders rolling back. Long, soft, smooth inhalations and exhalations. Feeling the groin soften, feeling the abdomen soften. Releasing, and we're going to extend the legs straight from here into your shavasana. So widen the feet, the width of the mat. Roll the thighs open. Make sure that your buttocks are moving towards the heels, that the lower back is connecting to the earth. And now extending the arms. And lift each shoulder up so you can roll the front shoulder back and tuck the shoulder blade upwards so that this area is open as we're resting, receiving so much in this crucial energetic liftingness through prana, through chi. And when everything feels comfortable, the eyelids closing, shavasana.
and now lifting the hands and just resting them on the lower abdomen. And then lifting the hands and pressing the palms together and ending with our loving kindness prayer. Loka Samastaha Sukin Ho Bhavantu Om Shanti Shanti then gently the eyelids can open. Welcome back. Our practice is complete. Making sure that when you come out of Shavasana, you always roll over to the right and you use your hands to push yourselves up. And just take a moment to observe the difference, how you feel. That observation makes it even more real and ensures that you will be back on the mat soon. Namaste. Take good care.